If there's one thing that's true about this life is that you never know what's hiding around the corner. This week we have a fabulous sail down to the Ragged Islands. But before we go, we gotta wait out some foul weather and get some errands done. It's then that we discover one of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen. I want to take that dog because people said that she's she loves boat rides. We've been together a long, long time. I think it's 30 years. Only now am I beginning to appreciate just how much Megan loves her vegetables. And I heard recently that before you eat your broccoli, you should cut it for at least 45 minutes so that the nutrients can actually come to the surface more and so you can get more of them. <laughs> All right, we've waded into bullshit land. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain why the broccoli is sitting out there cut up because I'm not quite ready to eat it. I'm just giving it some time to um, breathe. Breathe, right? right? You know, people of let course. wine breathe. I'm letting the broccoli breathe. I'm just giving her a hard time. Megan keeps us eating healthy, and I really appreciate it. With more foul weather coming, folks are taking up their positions. And we like to have a bit more space around us when the wind pipes up. The Red Shanks Anchorage near Elizabeth Harbor is protected all the way around. So it's a great place to wait out a blow like we've got coming. The islands surrounding Red Shanks are, I guess, kind of interesting. There's a few ruins here and there. Not really our speed. We like the white sandy beaches, the crystal clear blue waters. So with a box full of fancy camera gear and no particular itinerary, we headed out to explore. And what we found absolutely blew our minds. There's a ray or some kind of, do you think it's an eagle ray coming or a shark? You see it? What do you think, nerd? That's a big one. This place is like magical. Oh my God. You should see the shot we've got going on over here. I could just record an hour of that. Water lapping up slowly, kind of just rolling over little sand berms. And what's crazy is the waves themselves are creating the sand berms. So it's like the waves continue up onto the sand. It's pretty wild. Great 
people and found this place. Right under our noses. Not the metaverse, okay? This is real sand. This is the real reverse? This is real reverse, okay? We're showing you. Let me see the sand. We're showing you the real reverse. A little powdered sugar on your pancakes? <laughs> I wish I could describe somehow through the video how soft this sand is. It's almost creamy. Yeah. I feel like I'm on a different planet. This isn't even Earth anymore. This is perfect. I know. But we've already landed in paradise. Glad we got a chance to soak it all in because it wasn't long before the weather changed on us. Been in our tight little hidey hole here at the Red Shanks, not far from Great Exuma, for the last three nights, three nights, four nights, awaiting the big blow. And the big blow has come through, and I think it's time to head on out. Hopefully, it's not too premature. Um, really, the only choice though is to go check it out, see what it looks like. Ten seven, baby. Whoop whoop. We're sailing. I'm singing in the spray. I'm singing in the spray. What a glorious feeling to sing in the spray. <laughs> Is this boat coming towards us? Uh, it must be passing. Yeah, passing. Sure? Yeah. Put all the winter stuff away. I need to go get a blanket because I'm still cold. It's chilly. The cold front wasn't joking around. I mean, we're freezing. It's got to be in the 70s. I think it's like 72. 72? <laughs> My God. Heaven help us. It's so crazy. Spoiled brats. Spoiled brats. Spoiled brats. We know it. Controlling this new fiber path mainsail is a breeze, so to speak. And of course, part of that has to do with how the boat's rigged. We've got a full width main sheet traveler. 
So controlling the leech of the sail is very predictable. We can get as much power as we need. I wish it was the same story with our head sail, but we've got a problem common to cruising catamarans, and that is the Genoa sheet leads. You just can't move them far enough forward. So consequently, our leech tends to be a bit open when we're off the wind and we lose power. The sail's still in pretty good shape, so I'm looking at some other options. Pinched up about as tight as we can pinch. benefits of a cold front is the air is way drier so typically after a cold front comes through and the rain is gone we open up every hatch on the boat just to air it out get the uh, moisture to evaporate if, it, if it's possible and it helps control the mildew Dude, I don't breaking. know what to do come here quick quick breaking news quick. the coconut oil is turned hard oh my god we're in trouble throw an extra blanket on the bed Stoke the fires. It's, can you believe it's 79 degrees? It doesn't feel like 79. I think the thermometer's broken. That thermometer's busted. You make your own lip balm. Wow. We were reaching uh, a shortage and it was causing a lot of stress on Clarity. I got a funnel. I'm no longer wa <laughs> wasting too much. Mm, oh, it's a good batch. For essential oils, we've got wild orange mixed with a little Lang Lang. And Lang Lang is the essential oil of love. Tell me how it is. <laughs> is it a good, good batch? Mmm. Okay. Right. It's rated R. Hey Gonzalez, como estas? Good morning. It's kind of a sad moment. We're leaving the Exumas. We're heading south. Luckily, we get to be in the Raggeds for a little while. I don't know how long, until the wind looks right. But it is sad to leave our second home of the Exumas. Ah. Fortunately, we have enough footage that we can always visit that way, but God, I love it here. The sun's just about to come up and we're gonna have a beautiful sail out in the Atlantic in the Sound on the way to the Rackets. We're doing that instead of heading along the inside uh, of the bank. So this will be a little different and we're gonna fish. Start my mornings. Yeah, a little downwind sail. 14 knots of breeze. Is that the golden number? It kind of is. Yeah. For a reach, the waves stay small, the boat's still moving. I'll take 15 knots forever. Almost going dead downwind. Hopefully, we're not going to drive again. It's been a little rough getting uh, the right point of sail going. But right now, 16, 17 knots of wind, going eight knots. We got the jumentos off to our right, and we're gonna fish now. So we're in 32 feet right now, and Nick's getting the lines ready. You feeling lucky? Baby, I'm always feeling lucky. I don't know though about these fishes. They may 
They may have my number. It's our depth. It's like 32. Uh-oh. We're still in Barracuda land. It's 75 degrees, and you would think that I'm doing this for dramatic effect. I am absolutely, positively cold. I'm chilly, my feet are cold. And I'm wearing a winter coat, wall hat, sweatshirt, and I'm chilly. Just goes to show you, you get used to something and it's a new baseline. The wind's picked up, but it's a little shifty. We've had, I guess, three or four accidental jibes now. Not a good feeling or sound. So we've got, I think, one more jive to do, and then we'll head in through the wide entrance, the nurse channel. It's a little extra mileage, but you got any place you want to be? Well, no schedule. We got a jive, so we want to hit this island here. You want to hit that island? Don't hit the island. This is probably the most difficult point of sail for a cat. Dead down wind or way down deep. Man, the main is blanketing the headsail and the boat's kind of not in balance because of it. A lot of flogging. Kind of a bouncy afternoon out here. Nice, but bouncy. Yeah. Jive ho! When the sail's flogging like that, for hours on end, when we're deep, when we're off the wind, it definitely has me questioning my mode of transportation. But then we slide on here and we're just on rails. This boat just loves a beam reach, especially with this new main. Just flying. 16, 17, 18 knots of wind and we're doing 8.8 .8 to 9.5. It's just, it's a really great feeling. We're going too fast anyway. Nuts. Megan just asked me what these clouds were here, and I don't know. Either I knew and I forgot, or I just don't know. Some sort of mid-level clouds, alto stratus, but there's texture to them. Looks like a washboard. Anyway, definitely a little backdoor front arriving just now. Felt the temperature drop again, and some cumulus clouds, so. Probably a bit of a breeze overnight tonight. So far, I'll take it. We're cooking. All right, this is why they say don't come into a foreign port at night. We've been here, we've got tracks, but still, it is so hard to see the other boats that are already anchored here. I'm actually using the camera for night vision. 